hi everyone welcome to your reading it's a general reading for all the signs for what day is it Tuesday May 5th all right the last shuffle and I'm gonna do something a little different today um, I did this once a long time ago and then I completely forgot about it I made a card house so I'm gonna do that today or at least I'm gonna try to we'll see just really simple and then I'm gonna knock it down or blow it down or it's gonna fall down um, and then I'm gonna read it <sighs> maybe I'll try one more time So obviously this is the foundation. So these cards, I'm gonna read them as the foundation. They're actually the first floor, but I can't really make a basement, right? So. And I'm gonna read these as maybe steps you have to take to get to this final place. Might as well just help it along there. I don't know why I'm even bothering trying to make the little steeple part, but, or roof or whatever you want to call it, higher enlightenment, reaching for something at the top. All right, those are not, so it's going to be a challenge. Um, I'm going to lay one more card. This is the top to you. Um, it's the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords in the upright. So this is something at night. This is something worrying you, keeping you awake, something um, that you're worried about by yourself. You might not be saying anything to anyone. It, it could be something that's just going over and over in your head and literally keeping you up at night. This can also mean that you're being haunted. Um, but to me, this card is all about um, nighttime sleeping when you should be sleeping thinking about something when you're sleeping and also being by yourself and the reverse end of this card is defending yourself from something feeling like you have a right to something feeling like you um, have no choice but to defend yourself against something maybe you were defensive in the past and now you're thinking about um, what you said, something like that. All right, so let's see, where are you trying to go? Nine of coins in the upright. This is all about independence. This is all about um, having all of your needs met, having everything you need, having abundance. Again, like the bottom of the deck, actually I might as well put that out. Um, It's about being alone. And they're also both nines. So to me, some it's like a cycle that is completing. You're at the end of it. You're almost done. You're feeling very, very accomplished. You're feeling very self-sufficient. Like you have every, all of you, you might be making a lot of money right now too. And you might not be telling anyone about this feeling, about this ability that you have. This is using all of your skills, all of your talents. I'm gonna try and keep them in the way that they are. I'm gonna read them sideways. Oh, wow. Now, put this one over here. Down here. I don't know if you can, you can't even see them. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to, because it's kind of coming out like, I don't know, like house plans, and I can't, I'll just show them to you as I go. So 
So you're going to reach independence at the end. I'm reading this from the bottom to the top. And I'm seeing these two cards here as the steps that you need to take to get to this, to from this foundation, from these foundation cards. I actually think I mixed them up, but that's the way it's supposed to be, obviously. And I'm, I'm winging this. So I think these two side cards, if you can even, no, you can't see them. Um, I'll just show them to you as I go. I, I think that they're, I, they're somehow affecting these foundation cards. I'm seeing these foundation cards as something that you have, the things you have to work with maybe, the things you have to deal with to get to this very independent place. So, your first card, and I'm gonna show it to you sideways like it is. Um, Page of Wands. Page of Wands is someone who is a rival someone who is very energetic, very ambitious, someone trying to get a job, someone trying to um, start something with someone else. It can also mean a message, pages or messengers. This is someone who's very, very, like they really want to do something. They, they also like physical things. They like working really hard, like, um, and working out really hard. They're, they're um, well, it's called the pretty stranger. So they like to look good. They like to, they like to put their, their best face forward. So that is at the root of this reading, is um, trying something new. You could have a really good idea about something. Um, he's looking right at the Four of Swords. And he's looking at the upright end. So Four of Swords is being by yourself. It's um, The other end of it is also saving money, which is by the page's feet. So it's almost like he really wants to start something. He's got all these this passion, but he can't, maybe because he doesn't have enough money to start it. Or it could be he's starting something because he doesn't have any money. Um, it could be a home-based business. Fours are homes. Plus, I had this inspiration to try <laughs> to build um, a house of cards. And so, yeah, he's looking at this solitude, this Four of Swords. Um, Four of Swords is planning for the future. Um, I think it's because of a lack of money. It's not taking any action. It's, it's all in your head. So to me, this feels like someone who is dreaming in, in a good way, like um, in, a, in a very unrestricted way because he's, he's got this, that child energy that um, almost like, you know, when you're a kid and, and you know, I'm gonna be an astronaut, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like anything's possible. Anything's possible in this page's head and they're only restricted by this four of swords, which is definitely um, an in-action card. And it actually, it's very, very deep. It's very, very deep thought. It's um, in the regular tarot, it represents the soldier sleeping on his coffin before he goes to battle. So he's contemplating, he's deep, deep contemplation of his life and, 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 his, and the meaning in life. So it could be something to do with an idea or a message or some new endeavor that's very, very exciting, that's very passionate. This can mean work, this can mean love, but um, yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of cups in this reading. I'm not, yeah. Okay, so to me, this looks like a plan for the future, but something that's very, very fun and exciting. And for some of you, it could mean love, but I think this is more, what do you want to do when you want to get when you get out of this restriction? That's that's what it feels like to me. Um, the next card is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is an internal conflict. It's well, it's any kind of conflict actually, but it's the first thing that I think of is internal, and plus it's beside the Four of Swords, which is internal. It's it's all in your head. 
<clears throat> so it's like you're going back and forth between ideas and this five of swords just because of the way I had this laid out you can kind of see um, it's kind of bumping into the bottom of this card the birds and the fish and the other end is bumping into this card which is prudence and so because it is a back and forth card and it's like should I do this or should I do that um, and it is it is about worry and it is about pain it's about losing hope as well basically one end is called tears the other end is called losing hope so on the losing hope end is the prudence card and prudence in that position because it's pointing at the the bottom of prudence and in that position that's about um, like public judgment and being disapproved upon so it's it feels very painful to me it feels like someone worrying about being judged and and people not approving of them and it's it's a lot it's yeah it's it's some kind of step that you need to take from this it's like you're raring to go but you can't because you got to get through this kind of thinking muck first I think this is your um, I think this is standing for your limitations actually so the other end of it the tears end is bumping up to the birds and fish in the reverse or on the reverse end that is getting into the weeds that's getting into the muck this is really feeling like a layer cake or something to me like 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 your intention oops throwing the cards around your intention is this guy you want to start something you want to do something um, this can kind of feel a little bit like a not an emotional temper tantrum, but more like a, like I'm sick of this, like I gotta do something. But then you've got this guy right above it and it's like, well, I can't, I'm stuck here. So it feels like frustration to me, like wanting to start something, but this, this isolation is creating, do I have them the right way around? Yeah, this isolation is creating this conflict. It's like this inner conflict and and going between these two cards but the bottom part i'll read the tops in a minute but um it's like okay you're digging into all the muck you're digging into all of your i don't know this this could be past pain past trauma it can also be arguments um so you could actually be arguing with somebody about this because that page of wands um one end of him could be kind of an argumentative person so and you could be stuck in the house with this person as well so it could also be your mother that's a mother energy or it could just be going back in time something that you're working on on your own so you can free yourself and it could be something that you worry about people judging you for or maybe people judged you in the past and it it really brought you to your knees that's how I'm seeing that card but I, I'm seeing this as like a, a growth, a step in your growth. The next card is the rust card, which is beautiful. It's, um, it's, it's a very, very psychic card. It's a very, and you've got the, the upright of the rust card pointing at the upright of the birds and the fish, which is support. I'm seeing this as, and actually all three of these cards, prudence, rust, and birds and fish are all major arcana. So, they're very powerful feelings. They're very, it's like they're, what I'm seeing is it's like a, whoa, you can't go any further. It, you're trying to start something. You're trying to plan getting out of this restriction and you're trying to decide what steps that you should take. And it, it looks like it should be something really easy and stable. Just lost my train of thought easy and straightforward but the universe is going whoa no you have to heal these wounds these past wounds cry these tears lose all hope in something um, it could be losing all care of what people think that's actually how I'm seeing that 
um, you have to lose your your own limitations your own restrictions and this is going to pay off in such a huge way this is such a psychic card and it's also I just noticed this um, the reverse end of it is bumping up to prudence in the upright looking in her mirror and she's looking between the lines and the reverse of the rest card one meaning is to be aware of your enemies so and then you do have that conflict card below it so you could be shining a light on or becoming aware of um, someone that is not good for you also they could be trying to influence you they could be judging you but that's I'm getting the feeling that they're not saying anything like they might be they might be two-faced as well like they might say one thing to you and then another thing about you um, something like that because there is this looking in the mirror thing and I was just thinking vanity as well um, someone wants to it's just it's not a good energy in there there's something to do with someone that's not on your side someone that also could be watching you or you could be communicating with this person but I feel like you're like you're you're not completely um, you're not under their spell you, you don't buy you don't buy their it, it feels like an act you don't buy it um, it feels like you're very in touch with with your intuition this can also mean something to do with your mother um, some kind of guidance some kind of support this is a very very supportive card it's building something new as well could have something to do with your family because it's beside the rest card it could have something to do with um, like your mother might not be with us anymore and you could still be feeling her and actually there's that nine of swords which to me also always suggests like ghostly things and yeah so you you could be getting some kind of spiritual guidance from the other side of the veil I'll just say that that could have something to do with looking in this mirror as well and seeing like it, it's all about seeing reading between the lines seeing things that aren't you know immediately visible to other people and this is all about being psychic and using more than your five senses and it's funny that it's above these five swords which are all about thinking but it is about conflict but it, it is you know because I was thinking five senses and notice the five swords and swords to me are air our thinking our um, ether things that you can't see so it really feels like you're going through some kind of very spiritual like dark night of the soul but it feels more gentle like maybe you've gone through the worst of it already and it's like it's starting to make sense like something you've gone through like it, it was painful but it's a blessing so let's move on so the steps you need to take to get to this final destination ten of cups right next to the tower so this is a family this is this is having it all this is this is having everything you ever dreamed of. This is, but it's also, it's also a completion. It, it could mean a family completion. It could mean that you're literally, you have the tower right beside it. Um, and the upright is pointing at the upright of the Ten of Cups. So it almost looks like a planned demolition to me it looks like this is meeting this card 
So those are the steps you need to take. You need to end something. You need to completely dismantle something that is maybe long lasting in your life. Um, something that can't go any further. It could have been beautiful because Ten of Cups is a beautiful card. Um, but it also, let me just look at this for a minute. It's also something that was, was dragging you down and this could also be from, um, from a distance because the Ten of Cups on the upright end, it's, it's happiness at a distance. So this could have something to do with um, moving for some of you. There could be someone that doesn't want this to happen. That could be what this negative energy is over here. Um, they're, it's like they're right below this Ten of Cups, this ideal situation for you. But it really feels like, and it, it's also making certain family members mad. This could also be a workplace. This is a group of people that you once had a bond with, but it, it almost feels like you got distant, um, people got really angry, there might've been a lot of resentment, a lot of um, judgment, and a lot of people like, talking or um, what's the right way to put that making assumptions making assumptions like reading between the lines maybe in the wrong way and some for some of you it could have also been twisted because there is this beware of your your enemies as well so your advice is to confront something head-on it's going to it's going to clear a blockage i'm seeing this as a blockage um it could also mean that you're holding on to memories of something and it's it's creating a blockage in your life you can't move any for any further until you literally bulldoze this false reality or it actually it feels like it doesn't even belong here that's, that's how they both feel like they don't belong here. And, but I'm really seeing this as like a, a divorce or quitting your job, quitting something that has been maybe giving you a sense of comfort, but codependence, can't live without it. This is being miserable. Um, it's almost like it's making you miserable to be in it. And you think while you're in it, you'll be miserable without it. But actually your outcome is the nine of coins, which is, well, it's, it's probably my favorite card in the deck. It's, um, it's also a, the Virgo card. And it's, it's about being completely internally happy. Um, even in the reverse, it's, um, like if it can mean that you're short of money in the reverse, that could have something to do with why this hasn't happened yet. There's, I, I really feel codependence in this card and this is like feeling a little bit insecure at the, at the reverse end of this and it's right beside this misery. It's, it feels like not being able to pull the plug on something because you're afraid you won't be able to do it on your own and to me, what this is saying is you are absolutely going to be able to do it on your own. Um, but you are going to be this page of wands and you're going to be new and you're going to be, um, it feels very much like a new beginning to me. This feels beautiful actually. Um, and then I'm going to move this nine of swords over here because I'm really feeling like this nine of swords, actually I should move it beside the birds and fish card because it feels like a spiritual protector because this is all about protection and support and motherly protection and support it can also mean mother earth if that means something to anyone 
but it it really this nine of swords it it's something at night um like something something good it's like um i know i'm gonna sound really weird but i'm just gonna say downloads for those of you who know what that is you'll know what i'm talking about but yeah your your actual advice the things you need to do you need to somehow crush some kind of long-held dream or long-held expectation that gave you some kind of false comfort and is holding you back from this independence. This is also getting a lot of money. This is also called effect, which is about consequences. This is hard work and getting conse conse good consequences in the end, but you need to bust something open first. Wow, well that was fun. Maybe I'll try that every week. Sorry, I got, I got a job a couple weeks ago and I've just been too tired to do a reading. So I'm gonna try and get back on the um, individual signs. So I'll try and get at least one done today after this. I don't even know what sign I'm gonna read. So your shuffle song is called Coming Through and it's by Willis Earl Real or Beal. I can't even read my own writing and cat power. All right. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.